I guess welcome back. We got Outlook. It's by Morgan Wallen. Now for the song we don't have a capo. I'm sorry, we have a capo. I'm actually feeling very tired, so I'm like a bit sleepy. So I might say something wrong. Never mind. Now I'm all right. We got no capo. I'm sorry. Uh, it's in a standard tuning. We got a capo, and it should be on second fret just to keep it as beginner friendly as possible, right? So capo on the second fret. Now I'm co trying to cover other songs from his new album. I do have a playlist. Uh, check it out if you just want to learn any other song by Morgan Wallen, and let me know what other song which I haven't cover I should cover first. So we got A minor. It's mute, open second, second first open. Then we have a G, which is three two open 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 three. Then we have a F major chord. I'm playing it like this: one, mute, three, two, one. We got a D minor seven, mute, mute, open second, first, first. That's it for the chord shapes. Now uh, let's learn the verse. It goes like this. So this is our verse. So uh, what I do is I hold the A minor chord and I simply arpeggiate it. I go thumb, thumb, index, middle, index, which means A, D, G, B, G. Now quick look at the right hand, I like to use my thumb to plug the bass notes, the bass strings, which are the top three, E, A, D, index for the G, middle finger for the B, ring finger for the high. So I'll go A, D, G, D, G, A, D, G, B, G, so A, D, G, B, G, A, D, G, B, G. After that, I'll go to the F major chord. Uh, what I'll do over here is, I'll simply hold the chord shapes. I'll try to play the bar version. I'll play E, A, G, B, G, just once. The second time I'll do this, I'll play E, A, G, B, and then I'll go to this chord shape. It's a C slash B, I have B1, open G, open D, second fret on A. I'll play A, D, G, B. So that's basically the first line we got. So we got. Now this is super quick. I'm going E A G B A D G B. Then I go to C major chord. Now for this chord shape, I hold the C major chord. I'll simply play the same pattern as I did on the A minor chord, but I'll play the thrice. So I got A D G B G A D G B G A D G B G. Then I'll play third fret on the high E string, and then I'll play. G B G. So I'll put together the intro of the verse. I'm playing super softly, super slowly. Look how it goes. has couple of variation I have heard later on what happens is when you play the A minor chord you play B string third fret instead of first fret on the B string so it has some variation like this then for the F major chord we sometimes play the open high E string so you have to keep that small small variation in your mind and apply if you wanna uh, add in some parts otherwise it's just that same pattern which just goes so verse done Moving on to the chorus, it's A minor, F, go to D minor, then C, then F, then G, then C, then back to A minor. So whenever I go to a A minor chord, I'll, what I'll do is I'll play 3 on A, 2nd on A, and then I'll go to A minor. So we are. And when I go to a F major chord, just before that, I'll play this. I'm playing open A, E3, E1. So uh, I'll play the pattern like four times on the A minor chord. Variation. And then I'll do this. I'll play the pattern four times on F. D 
minor 7 I'll just strum the chord twice we're going down up up down down up up down C down up up down down up up down back to F play the pattern twice G C so G will be same as uh, the F major chord same pattern and then you go to C twice and then do this dun, dun, that's, uh, just go to your outlook so we got the chorus sorry You can uh, just follow the chord progression and that's how you can play the chorus. I hope the video helped you guys. Let me know what other song you want to learn. For more easy straightforward lessons like this, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Until then, bye.